There is a plot of land in Myrtle Beach, well technically just outside city limits, that was home to not one failed theme park, but two. What I'm going to show you here is uh, a compilation of lots and lots of footage I have from Hard Rock Theme Park and Freestyle Music Park, the two failed, abandoned theme parks which share the same piece of land that resides, like I said, just outside the city of Myrtle Beach. This footage was taken while the park property was still under security surveillance, so the majority of the property is in, dare I say, okay condition. There is vandalism, there is graffiti, but it could be much worse. I've seen much worse. So, that being said, recently the property has been sold, so there's a lot of uh, talk around town about what's going to happen to this theme park. So I figured this was a good opportunity to take all this footage I've got, put it together, and show everyone what the park looked like prior to its true abandoned state. Uh, once the security left the premises, the local population really had the free reign over the property. So this video is going to be quite lengthy, uh, but it will be comprehensive. We will circle the entire park, give you a little park map view right here, show you where we're at, we're going to go inside some buildings, around some buildings, and you'll see what's left. The like I've said already, this video will cover the entire park, so if there's any parts uh, you find slightly uninteresting, feel free to fast forward through, uh, see parts that you might be familiar with if you visited the park. Uh, if any of these locations are familiar to you and you have memories of them, leave a comment down below. Let me know. I myself only visited the park when it was Freestyle Music Park, the, the second iteration of this theme park property. So I did not get to see it in its hard rock state, uh, mostly because both these parks came and went very quickly and I uh, just didn't find time to get to it. Anyway, let's go into this location and see what we see. The Doctor Who reference? What's going on here? A lot of brochures, it looks like. Is that the actual shop? Maybe. That is a whole box of. Mm -hmm. okay, here we go. Here's one. <laughs> Citrus berries and wines. That would say it's back there. Huh. Cash up. Surprisingly, not a lot of mold in any of the bags. More than bags. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What's on the menu? Florida Fever, Florida Sunset, Florida Sunset. A lot of Florida drinks. I'll go ahead and apologize in advance. This video was taken without a dead cat on the camera, so there's a lot of wind in the audio. Also, there is a music track in the background that is way too loud. Nowadays, if I edited, that track would be muffled, but you know, lesson learned, so I apologize and just deal with it. If it's annoying, mute the video. Yeah, that's fresh graffiti anyway, right there. back to the park. Freestyle Uzik Park. Here's some debris from Hurricane Matthew. Some fresh graffiti. Let's check the status of that canopy that was flopping around. Still there. And guest services, please sit. I'm not sitting in that chair. Looks like ticket purchasing, guest services. I like the tile. Hey, 
ATM. Nothing. No money. South Carolina state law requires riders to obey all posted signs, warnings, and instructions. Ooh, first aid. I'm injured. Let's go in here. The lockers. Seems to be a sheet of some sort. I really like these doors. There was a lot of thought put into these themes. Even the doors, the hardware on the doors. So this is all what called backstage customer service areas. Oh, apparently they had a doggy. Or a kitty. They had a Garfield. Yeah. This looks open. Oh, it is. I'm gonna take a peek in the mercantile and the ockers and the Taco Bell bell. I gotta squat to get into this one. Oh, oh wow, that's a big building. And the columns. Hold on. All right, how much are strollers? He will pass. No freaking way. That's fantastic. I'll take that. Let's get a locker. Let me put my stuff away. No lockers, but. Donald Duck! Yeah! Pull. I'm a rebel. I'm not gonna pull it. I'm pushing it. Pushing it. Up. Just a little. Wonder if I'm tall enough to ride anything. It's like Gandalf's wand of theme parks. None shall ride.
Kiss the Sky fireworks. And of course, everyone's favorite, Leanne Rhymes. Oh, fluorescent lights. So we had a freestyle bike show. That was an acrobatic act. One thing to keep in mind for those of you who did visit Freestyle or Hard Rock, whichever you want to call it, the layout of the park is very reminiscent of something like Universal's Island of Adventure or Epcot Center, if you will, the World Showcase. It has a centralized, really large pond, and then the park loops around the pond. Also, this area we've been looking at for the past 10 minutes, really that right there, that is their Main Street USA, if you will. It's not themed as Main Street USA, but you get the idea. It's a series of buildings with uh, goods and services and food that line the entry. And then at the end here, to the right of what we're looking at, there's a wide opening, basically a decision point where you can then reference your, reference your map and decide which way you want to go around the large pond. Uh, it's it's a common park design, but it's the gold standard. It works, so why not use it? Well, it works for most parks. Uh, this one, it wasn't enough to save it. If there's a legit screen in there, or if this is just a themed exterior. I don't know the significance of these faces, but I find it cool. And wasps. <laughs> Let's go check out the P PV Foundry, I think this is called. Oh yeah, I've got one of those souvenir mugs at home. How much did I pay for it? I paid eight dollars for my souvenir mug. YouTube was the first to do something. I can't read all this. That's the back side of the kitty ride, the big rig or whatever. It's the office. Let's go upstairs. Wow. Right there would have been the major roller coaster. Enter, if you dare, to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> what does it say on the back? 
Sunsha. That's how we say it in the south, Sunsha. Surprised they didn't burn this thing. <laughs> yeah. This is a section of the park, if you've got a keen eye, when you're going over the Intracoastal Waterway Bridge heading out of town, and you look toward your left, you can see these buildings, these bright yellow and red buildings. They still exist. So the name of the show was Adrenaline Rush. Hey, you can see right here that it's set up. Think it'll be a nice view. Oh, God. a whole lot of nothing. That is a heck of a view of the park. There's the Gibson guitar shop there. Strawberry Fields was right behind it. There's the country restaurant, I forget the name of that. Ice Palace over in that direction. And on the other side of these yellow buildings would have been the Led Zeppelin roller coaster at Hard Rock Park and the time machine when it was freestyle music park. All right, now I gotta get down without breaking my neck. It's a new sport. Extreme chair. Lots of hula hoops. Must have been part of the show. Murder scene. Oh wow, what is this? Check. I've got to know. I've got to know. What are you listening to? When you said Malibu Beach Party, you weren't joking, were you? And they were never seen again. <laughs> Yeah. 
and the old footers for the roller coaster. Guard houses, I assume. about this park right now. Wow, what do we have up here? We have a large overhang. Oh wow, there's the Gibson store. This is some sort of ride. I cannot tell you what it was. But we're gonna we're gonna ride it. Let's go ride this ride. Hydro fighter, slippery when wet. April 2008.
get a guitar. Whoa. First, watch out for that floor. That first step's a doozy. Other display cases. I've seen better days. Here is the bridge. That's where the major roller coaster was. The Led Zeppelin roller coaster. Meanwhile, here's some potted plants with faces on them. Lubratorium. So I guess this is where you got your sunscreen. And your t-shirts. That came in these sweet, sweet freestyle music park bags. Hangers just hanging around. Set up like an old fashioned gas station with like the old pumps that would have been right there. So at the entrance we have potted, potted plant phase one and potted plant phase two. Hidden through here we got another guy. 
That guy's happy. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, there's another one. Two more over here. He's hiding back there. He's hiding back there. So like a garden walkthrough at one time. They're all they're all nice potted plants till you get to this guy. This is the back of the house. Oh, let's see if I can just peek in this back door. Oh, wow. So this was... A little dark in here. This was one of the country-themed restaurants. This is the kitchen where it's stainless steel wall. window where you would order, I assume. Back here is the office. Come out of the back porch. Mold. Had a view of the pond. And it looks like there was a four wheel here. was the Iron Horse Roller Coaster. You can see here, straight through, where they would load. So this was the loading zone for the Iron Horse. And this tile here was actually a gift shop when you came out of the ride. So you go up there, you load onto the ride. When you were done, toward the end of the ride, this statue up here, would actually breathe fire at you. That was kind of the grand finale of the roller coaster. This was one thing I always found funny. There was an ice rink. Country Cooler Theater presents Ice Cold Country. That's what I think about when I think about country. Now, when this first opened, it was called Magic on Ice. And it was just a basic ice show. Then, I can't remember the exact year, but it was purchased by someone else called the Ice Castle. And the headliner for this place was Nancy Gary. So she skated here. And then when freestyle came to be, they took this into their park and turned it into the country show. So 
this was the general seating, and down there was the stage. And believe it or not, the one time I came here, that was the highlight of the whole day. The ice show. Tire marks and everything. This is one of the few kitty rides. This whole section here had smaller, like carnival style rides. Thirsty? Let's see what's in here to drink. To wash down our popcorn. More popcorn. UK striping for the roundabouts and the crosswalks. Traffic arrows, Lenin references. I'm hungry for some ice cream. Uh, let's go to the public lavatory. Fatality. It's serious industry. Man seated, do not get drunk. So apparently that's what happened to this woman over here. She didn't follow the rules. Poor man, I can't tell. There's not enough left. Okay. This man <laughs> he uh he didn't sit upright apparently. That was his demise.
something over there. I'm not sure what. And a fire hydrant. Here we go. Child play area. Toadstools. And this must have been a child's themed ride. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe there's some signage over here that'll give me a hint. Interesting. What do we have here? Chlorine, bromine, pH acid. Oh, here we go. Here's a sign. Safety instructions. Remain seated upright at all times. Oh, am I even filming it? There we go. But what was the ride? I don't know. But children were playing here at one time. Enjoying themselves. If you ever wanted to be a beetle, there's Abbey Road. And I assume this was some sort of photo booth where you could pay to get a picture. And this was another splash zone. See, it's got soft, soft matting. There are probably fountains here and here. Or play equipment, one or the other. Probably a play zone. This was the British invasion section of the park. There was a restaurant over here. Bathrooms, there was a ride over here. Okay, whirl a gig. Something, I, I... And you can tell people come out here and take their picture because they actually put a trash can up to hold their camera to take their pictures. See, hooligans are intelligent. They know what to do. Making good use of the problem. Back. Got a sign. Box. Doors. So if I was an employee of Hard Rock and I worked the photo counter, this is what I would see all day. Well, in the back storage room there was a sunglass rack that could go anywhere. But I assume maybe you could buy your photograph here from the Abbey Road picture, like a souvenir photo. I don't remember. It's like someone kicked it down.
I don't think much mopping is going to be going on here. Looks like it might be unlocked. Nah. It's sealed from the inside. <laughs> An old padded area. Must have been a play zone. What seems to be a speaker. Kind of reminds me of Ghostbusters.
that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you. If you've made it this far, this was or is the longest video I have posted thus far. So if you have made it to the end, comment down below. Let me know. I want to see who actually watched this whole thing. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.